I'm on. I'm on. Walk on the slippery pit? I'm gonna go get the tractor. Okay. Amidst a enormous batch of beer, well over 100 pounds of grain, entire kettle. This is actually in the middle of transferring. Thought I'd take a moment and show you what a bigger brewery looks like. This is a working brewery, a licensed brewery. Here is his hot liquor tank, whereas mine is smaller and actually turns into that tank, which is the boil. And back there is the mash tun. That goes to the temperature it required to utilize. It sits just like my system. Then it gets washed from that vat. So it washes all the goodness down and out of it and into the boil kettle. Now where I have those little filters at the bottom, that is also a little filter. You can use full hops in it. You can use stingy nettle. You can use dandelion, which are such some of the beers created here. As you can see, he has some gravity transfer, but he uses pumps. So now the mash, has utilized all the grain. It's been stirred with the paddle of the gods and it's sat for about an hour and a half because it's such a large batch. This is a one barrel system, but this is actually a barrel and a half batch. I'm trying to fill 60 gallon fermenter that I'll show you later. And a system of cleaning and sanitation. Myself and Dave both use iodine for our sanitation. It's pretty effective, I'd say. It's iodine. Doctors trust it. How about I show you around the brewery? There's Dave working hard. And here's the tasting room. Tasting area. There's the barn where pigs are raised. Over there is the chickens. Shauna picking flowers from the garden and the bar. Excuse the mess. Hi everyone. I told you I would show you 60 gallon fermenters. And here they are. Enormous. They're uh, as big as me. This is where all the beer, once it's done, sits and is cooled to about, what is it right now, 60 degrees, naturally. Hello everyone. We have a huge batch of beer. We're up to about 40 gallons, if you can see that there. Still gotta make it to 60. So we're adding more water to the hot liquor tank, transferring it over to the mash, washing the mash some more, bringing it out over here. This is going to go to a boil. Somehow we're gonna get 60 gallons out of this. I think as we're transferring it away, it's going to continue to transfer. We're going to continue to wash over and transfer more than what this can handle. You can get 60 gallons out of a single barrel. Anything can happen. That is a butt ton of hops. One butt ton of hops. Butt ton is a brewing term. Butt ton has originated from beer brewing. There's like a birkin is so much, a keg is so much, a butt is so much, a ton is so much. And a butt ton is so much. <laughs> so it's just how many gallons. And we call on the paddle of the gods. Right now, pulling the bitterness out of the hops. So a lot of beers depend on this at this stage. This is this is what is going to determine what kind of beer is going to be. Yeah, and our grain bill kind of determines that too. But now in the foil, we have a huge quantity of hops in here right now. And did you have hops in that? So, no. Okay. No. Yeah, you can, but a lot of people mash their hops in. So you're kind of getting that hop flavor. Oh, poor hops. That is our 10 minute edition. There has been multiple editions of hops. There is a final two minute edition coming. That smells amazing. Sorry. Mm. Well, but still keeping it really dry. You have me pick my nose? Yeah, got it? Yeah. Got it? Actually, yeah, I do have this deep story. I was doing sit-ups in the engine room, and it's at the very back. It's this big conical portion of the, of the ship. All of a sudden, I hear something, because there's 
this enormous rolling cloud of steam headed my way. Run. Run for the nearest exit. <laughs> so I'm the only one running in the engine room. I get outside of the door, and I look back, and no one's coming with me. I go back and I say, you know there's a big rolling thing of steam? And I said, oh yeah. What do you mean, oh yeah? I was back there. <laughs> oh. Oh, well you're not supposed to be back there during the steam dump. Why didn't you come back and tell me? You know that I'm on watch. You're filming. Are you? All right, well that's my steam story. They tried to kill you. Uh, they, yeah. They could have. The no, they really could I mean, it was just a big cloud rolling through. It wasn't, it wasn't actual steam. It wasn't actual boil my body steam. Submarines. Look at submarines. Let's deal with boiling hot water. Actually, that was kind of the same thing. Reactors, don't you know, they make boiling hot water. Look at the camera. Eye contact. Eye contact. Eye contact. <laughs> Look at the camera.